I think the people just love it. They still love to drop that needle onto the record. They love to look at the artwork. The sound is fantastic. More than the sound, there's just the, it's a physical product. This is Rainbow Records, one of the oldest record manufacturers in the world. And these are some of the last albums that it printed before permanently shutting down production. Don't remind me. <laughs> Keep bringing tears to my eyes. Although vinyl sales have increased over the last several years, cost of rent in Southern California has risen too. Rainbow's closing, the main reason is we have to move. We have some issues with the landlord, and I'm now 67, and I, I'm too old to move. Rainbow has worked with a long list of legendary artists, including Daniel Johnston, Black Flag, Bad Religion, Dr. Dre, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, Taylor Swift, Casey Musgraves, Slayer, Sonic Youth, The Beatles. I was gonna say, who's not here? I mean, we pressed, you know, we pressed Elvis, and how much bigger do you get than Elvis? Uh, Rainbow was founded in 1939 by Jack Brown. Jack started making cardboard recording discs and then got into conventional record pressing in the 50s. Jack also invented the Flexi paper record. We did 31 million of those on the back of the Wheaties box. Rainbow also became the, the plant for the rappers. You had a lot of underground rap. It wasn't played on radio. All of a sudden, they're making 100,000 records. Uh, MC Hammer was one of our successes at Rainbow. He used to drive down from Oakland. He'd order a couple hundred records. He'd drive back up, and he'd sell them out of the back of his car, drive back down, order some more. Until recently, we were doing about 22,000 a day. Our peak was 60,000, and that was in 77, 78. Although Rainbow's business has slowed down over the years, vinyl records have proven to be a timeless product. About five, six years ago, I got a call from a lady, and she said, my brother passed away, and his wishes were to have his ashes pressed into a record. So she came by the following week, dropped off a bag of her brother's ashes. The ashes sat behind my desk for about a month before we got around to trying it. And we were able to press, I think we pressed 50 records that she gave to his friends. You know, the key to Rainbow is we've had our personnel, they must like us, <laughs> they must like it here. And it's the team that's made the company. When I started at Rainbow, I walked into, for an interview, a little tiny office, and it just got better from there. The significance of vinyl is you have something to hold in your hands, and a lot of people put money, so much money, into putting out the lyrics and pictures, and you have a piece, you have an art, you have an art piece. It's gonna be sad, it's a very sad day for us to all to not have a job anymore and not be together. Despite the demand increases, there are now fewer than three dozen record pressing plants in North America. While Rainbow may be closing, its manufacturing equipment will be shipped to Nashville, where it will keep pressing vinyl at United Records.